Welcome to 3D UTAP Wells. This video is an overview of the Thomas Stiver diagram in the compositional palette. The compositional palette is integrated into the Build Earth model. The Thomas Stiver diagram is the structure panel of the palette. This is a new tool for UTAP Wells, which enhances the capabilities of the software program. It will allow the shale and matrix volume concentrations to be varied along with the porosity and the geometrical order. This enables a greater modeling capability. This diagram displays the shale concentration on the x-axis and total porosity is along the y-axis. To assist your understanding, clicking on this button with the three dots opens up a labeled Thomas Stiver diagram for reference. The vectors and areas within the diagram represents the potential conditions within the rock formation, which depends upon the rock structure chosen. Points on the plot indicate the volumetric concentration of shale and the total porosity. Clicking on this down arrow at the structure box displays the six structural conditions available for use, such as clean matrix, pure shale, dispersed, and through the laminar structural. Choosing the clean matrix will display a triangular marker on the total porosity axis. The porosity values may be changed by typing in a value or clicking on the up or down arrow at the matrix porosity window. It may also be changed by placing the mouse over the triangle and moving it up or down along the vertical. As it moves, the total porosity and matrix porosity values change in the windows below. Within the volume reference window, if the mouse is placed on the edge between the matrix and the red area, a double arrow appears which enables one to change the porosity values. The water saturation can also be changed here by using the mouse at the red and blue border. Moving this back and forth, the water saturation values change in the blue zone. It is important to note that if a change is made to the water saturation value, the normalize button needs to be clicked to allow the saturation values of the fluids to be correctly calculated. On the right side of the diagram, by placing the mouse on the top of the red slider bar and moving it up or down, can enlarge or reduce the size of the diagram. The bottom portion also moves if you should have this need. Choosing pure shale as a structure from the drop-down menu places the diamond on the right side of the diagram. Similar to the clean matrix, the total and shale porosity values can be changed in the area by typing in a value or using the up or down arrows or in the volumetric reference window. Placing a mouse on the diamond only allows only an up or down movement on the porosity scale. Selecting the laminar dispersed structure enables an additional movement within the diagram depending on which marker mode is selected. Using the full 2D motion mode, the marker, a star pattern, may be moved in any direction within the lower portion of the diagram, as illustrated here. When the marker moves within the laminar dispersed area, there are changes to both the lamination factor and Shelley factor values. When a mouse is placed over either one of the factor names, an information tip appears as seen here. If marker mode is set to fixed QS 1D, the diamond marker can be moved along the GL line, but at a fixed GS or Shelley factor, as demonstrated here. Notice when the marker moves, the lamination factor increases or decreases, but the Shelley factor remains constant. Conversely, if the lamination factor or QL is fixed, 
the movement of the marker is along the QS vector as seen with the Shelley factor changing, but not the lamination factor. The numerical value display boxes are able to change the various values by either moving the up or down arrow. As the lamination value is changed, the marker moves along the QL vector and the same for the QS or Shelley factor. A value may also be added directly. Putting a specific value in the display will move the marker to that location as demonstrated here. The volumetric reference values also change with the movement of the marker or values within the display box. Depending upon where in the reference the mouse is placed will determine which display and diagram values change as demonstrated here. Note that if a change is made to the water saturation value, the normalize button needs to be clicked to allow the saturation values of the fluids to be correctly calculated. Choosing the laminar structural from the structure menu, the star marker moves within the top portion of the Thomas Stiver diagram and is restricted to within the area. This and the other structure choices will give different marker movements on what is expected for the type of rock layer condition. Utilization of this diagram will allow one to model different layer conditions depending on the structure chosen and produce results depending on the matrix, shale, and fluid compositions. This is the end of this video. Please check out our other videos for 3D UTAP wells. Thank you for your time.